In the spring of 1950, the swept-wing North American F-86 Sabre would be the top-of-the-line U.S. fighter jet. This was the first American aircraft designed using the flight research data acquired from German aeronautical engineers at the close of the Second World War. In April of 1950, the 23-year-old 2nd Lieutenant Fred Beebe was an F-86 pilot with the 60th Fighter Interceptor Squadron out of Otis Air Force Base, Falmouth, Massachusetts. Around 9.15 a.m. on the 27th of April, BB was flying solo on a routine one-and-a-half-hour ground control intercept mission at 21,000 feet over Plymouth, Massachusetts on a northwest heading at 345 at a speed of 500 miles per hour. He sighted a light brown object 10 miles ahead on the left side of his ship at 10 o'clock low flying at terrific speed around 17,000 feet and on a heading which he estimated to be 080. It flew laterally eastward, crossing his path to the 2 o'clock position, when it then climbed at a steep angle of 50 degrees, up to 28,000 feet, then turned left to an approximate heading of 360 north to disappear from sight. Due to the outrageous speed, Lt. Beebe made no attempt to pursue, and the entire sighting lasted just 15 seconds. At 1100 hours on the 27th, Beebe reported his sighting to Special Agent Raymond I. McKinnon with Detachment Q, 1st District Air Force OSI, the Office of Special Investigations. Beebe stated that the object's shape was a flat oval with no signs of support or propulsion and that weather conditions at the time were Kavu, ceiling and visibility unlimited. There was no radar confirmation of the sighting. In October of 1950, Beebe had an accident with an F-86 at Westover Field, Massachusetts, where the 60th had moved in August. A highly decorated Colonel, Frederick Albion Beebe, retired from the U.S. Air Force in the late 1970s, and he passed on 19 September 2009 at the age of 81.